This is the last ship you will ever need in Starfield, built with no mods, max of six engines, 10,000 cargo spaces for all of those things you just want to pick up from everywhere you pick things up from, 10 crew slots, and space for any weapon that you want in the game. If you want to skip to a certain part of the video, check down in the chapter list down below. And I want to thank you guys so much for all the wonderful support you have been showing the channel. We already smashed 900 subscribers. And it's only because you guys keep subbing and liking the content. It's because of all of the support and love in the comments that I wanted to continue to go strong with these builds for you guys. So here we are. You know how we do it. We keep it short and sweet around here. So let's get into it. A little bit of house cleaning. The shield stat that you see is bugged at the moment. You are only allowed to have a maximum of 3,200 shield with both Vasco and Amari Hassan from Aquila as your crewmates. As well as the south engine is only available from completing Walter's main mission from the main story quest. First things first, you need the model. So grab a ship and dismiss your entire crew because what you're about to be doing, Sarah probably isn't going to give you a hug for it later. You want to pop down on any planet that doesn't have any affiliation to any of the factions like FC or the UC. So the Freestar Collective or United Colonies, you don't want any affiliation where you land your ship. Go ahead and build an outpost. In that outpost, I want you to build yourself a bounty clearance service terminal and save your game. Fly over to Valley Alpha and find yourself a Galbank Stormrider tail it. Using the targeting system, take out the shields and engines, dock and steal the ship. And boom, now we have the frame or the base of the ship. Now let's travel over to the soul system, go over to Titan and hop down on new homestead. You will build the frame or majority of the ship that you need right here. Make sure you attach at least four thrust landing gears and use the Nova braces to attach any different pieces that you don't already have here at this location so that we can fly off from this location to the next to continue the build. The places that we will be visiting in order to finish up this build are all going to be Hope Town, New Homestead, Deimos Star Yard, Neon City, and Jemison. Make sure here at New Homestead, you attach all the essentials before moving on to the next location. You do not need any weapons or any shields, so save that to the end. And from there, as you can see, I've already broken down the entire ship into little pieces so we could put it all back together. But just before we do that, I also have a 300k Class C ship that has incredible speed and is rocking the best Class A engine in the game. If you don't want to miss out on that one, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on that future build. But let's get back to it. So as you can see, I have completely spread out our entire ship. Now there's one thing that I want to show you guys before we even get started. This is the main frame or the base of the ship. You could put any hab in this area that you feel you want. And this is just the habs that I use. I have the Nova Galactic Control Station 2x1. I have a Hope Tech Companion Way. I have the Nova Galactic Living Quarters because I like how spacious it is. I like how spacious it is. Then over here I have the Nova Galactic Armory. Then we have the Nova Galactic Workshop as well as the Nova Galactic All-in-One Berth. It doesn't have to be Nova Galactic. It could be anything that you want, but these are the ones that I picked. Now I'm going to delete these to show you exactly how the base is going to be formed. All right, and there we go. This right here was actually the original Pinpoint 4 landing gear that came with the ship that we stole from Volley Alpha. So a Galbank ship is usually built with this thing in mind, and you're going to use this for the final build, so keep it. The Tayo Astroneering Landing Thrust of 2 is a good piece that we're going to use to attach our engines to. You're not going to have these SAL engines probably right off the gate. You're going to have a different type of engine. It doesn't matter what exactly you slap on this ship right now because when we fly to the next location, you're going to add the SAL engines. However, you need to have both of these landing gears. Go ahead and put any gamma drive that you want right here in the center. Attach any reactor that you need to right here. And then if you want the 10,000 cargo that I have, you're going to want to put a 40T hauler cargo hold over to the left and right. Right from there, you want to continue to make the cargo, you know, a little bit spacious. 
and I picked up all of my cargo from Red Mile. So you'll slap both of these cargos on the side and you'll also put the Polo 2030 cargo holds right here in the center. From there, you want to align it with the NG20 landing gear, which is the best landing gear in the game. There's this one and there's also another one. That's the wide body one. I chose to put this one because I like this aesthetic a little bit better. And you only need one, two, three, four, five, six of them. There's going to be some other locations where you're going to have certain pieces, but for the base of the ship, that's all you need. Now, go ahead and add any hab that you want. So for me, this is my hab setup. And right here on the very top of these habs, this is going to be a visible hab. So I put the porthole top windows right here. Let's keep going with the build. So we're going to space out for a little bit. And let me show you what each part of this build is doing. This whole part over here to the left is the left wing. This whole part over here to the right is the right wing. Then we have the entire, I call it the spine of the ship is right here in a straight line. This is going to be the final pieces that go on the direct top of the ship. So you want to save these for last. This is your entire cockpit and the cockpit area with all the design parts. And this right here is your entire second layer of the entire ship. So you're going to want to put this right here in order as well as align it with these two cross passages this Nova Bracer, and this is gonna line right in the back of the ship. Then over here to the right, you have the right wing, and over here to the left, you have the left wing. So, let's slap this bad boy back together. If we zoom in close to the original build of this ship, what you wanna do is you wanna take this cargo hold right here and slap this right over here to the left, take this Nova Bracer right here, and slap that right here in the middle. And you wanna take the other cargo hold and slap it right there on the right. Then you wanna take this right here, this little demos hall. Right now, you're probably not gonna have a demos hall. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a Nova Bracer and put the Nova Bracer here. And when you fly over to demos, you're gonna add this in. You probably won't be able to put these cargo holds here either. So put these bracers to fill this entire area fly over to Red Mile, get all the cargo holes that you need, and then replace them with these parts. But let's get back to it. You're gonna have to run over to New Hope or Hope Town in order to get this right here. This is the Hope Tech nose for the back. And boom, you've already finished majority of the ship. We're almost done. So what we're gonna do now is, I want you to take this Nova Passage right here. This is actually gonna go right here in this section right here, but you need the other pieces to do that. So. Let's do just that. You're going to take this entire midsection right here and you're going to reapply it to the ship. So we'll grab this main piece and line it right up there in the center. We'll grab this main piece as well and we'll align that right up in the center. And then we'll take this piece right here and we'll align this up in the center as well. Then from there, you want to take these cross passages and put them on either side. One here. And one here. Now you want to come back over here and you want to grab these. You want to grab the M50 Ulysses helium tanks. I think that's how you say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't speak English. I'm sorry. And then you put those right there on the left and put the other one on the right. Boom, just like that. And that is pretty much it. All right, we're doing good, we're doing good. Now we're gonna put these pieces right here. We'll go on the either on either side of this entire build. So we'll get to that portion a little bit later. Let's go ahead and we'll reorganize the center part. There we go. So you slap that back there on the bottom. We'll go ahead and put this right here on the top, kind of like that. And then you want to take this whole section right here, this cowling, and slap that right on here. Boom, we're good to go. Okay then, now that that is all back into place, you pretty much have this entire build wrapped up and finished. That's it. There's not much more left to do. But that being said, let's keep going with the build. 
we'll go ahead and put the entire top piece back in order. And this is going to stretch the entire upper part of the entire ship. All right, so they just kind of line up just like that. Zoom in real quick, make sure everything is good. Yep, we're good to go. All right, let's keep going. We got this Nova piece right here, as well as this actually goes on the tippy top of this Nova piece. Right about there. And then you're going to take this second demos hull and slap that right there. And you want to slap this demos cowling on the back. So it kind of rounds that out a little bit. Excellent. And then we'll come over here and we'll grab this shield and slap that right on the back. Boom. And there you have it. That's it, baby. That's it's done. It's done. It's just that easy. Now we'll go ahead and we'll slap these bad boys right here at the top. We'll put those all back to where they need to be. All right, these go into the back. All right, from this point here, we're going to go ahead and put this over on the left, on the right side of the ship. And actually, I'm thinking that these are not in the correct spot. And I'm going to fix that right now. What you actually want to do is you want to have these pieces at the bottom portion right here. But they're not connecting properly, which is really awkward. So... I'm going to leave these to the side for now, and we'll put those on towards the end. All right. So some things that we want to go ahead and finish off real quick. We need to get the left side of the ship going and the right side of the ship going. So we'll take both of these pieces right here, and we'll kind of put those a little bit closer. Kind of like that. And let's go ahead and build the wings and put them back together. What you have to do for these wing parts is you can see this cross passage right here. This hab has to connect to those. Kind of like that. All right. And then you want to take this nose right here and you want to have it right over here. But before you even touch that nose, you got to slap this back in here. Just like that. All right. Now we're doing good. Now with that nose piece back where it's supposed to be, we'll go ahead and we'll slap that. And it's supposed to hang over the back engine. Put this in the front area. And then you want to take these Deimos wings and slap them on either side. Just like that. And then you want to take these parts over here and slap those bad boys one on the top. Another one connecting to here. One more right there. And boom. You want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. At any point in the video, feel free to slow it down. Put it down to one speed or whatever you got to do to make sure you can follow along with me. I just want to make sure that this video is under 15 minutes for you guys. Because you know that's how we do it. And there we go. We're almost done. Now for this last part, it looks a little bit tricky, but it's actually not. So watch and follow along kind of carefully. You want to take this top portion, right? You want to attach this onto the hab like this. And then you want to take this bottom portion right here. This is the most important piece. You want to put this on the bottom right there. And then you see this entire side right here that's kind of available and just open. What we want to do with that side is we want to seal it off with all of these side pieces right here. And you want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Boom. Just like that. And then you want to take this right here. This Nova Cowling. Slap that bad boy on the portion right there. And then you want to take this. And you want to put it on the bottom part. Like that. 
and the front end just like that perfect now we're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side boom just like that we got it let's get it all right it's the last eight pieces of the puzzle and we're done all right for these last couple of pieces i want you to kind of put them just like this on screen so that you can follow along because this last part is a little bit tricky what you're going to do is these are on two different levels okay so we're going to put on the bottom layer first because if you try to take these top layers they're going to stick to the bottom layer and it's going to mess you up so take these Deimos wing A's and put them on the bottom most layer right in front of this right here. Like you don't want to connect it to that back portion. We're going to leave that available and it's going to sit right in front of this Deimos braking engine. So we're not even going to bother with that. You want to put it just right here. And then just in front of it, you want to come over and grab the other one and slap it on the front like that. And then do the same thing on the opposite side put this one just in front of that right there so you want to put it just in front of the Deimos braking engine and then you want to take the opposite side and slap that right on the front like this then from here you got the last four pieces of the puzzle go ahead and slap this on the top right here you could bring it forward a little bit if you want to give it like a little bit more of an edgy little vibe but I put it on the back right there and then you want to take this piece over here and slap that right behind it so it rounds that out and then get to the other side. Boom. And the last piece of the entire build. Yes, sir. There it is. You have finished it. This right here is the Armageddon MSHD. If you like what we did here on the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, and build guides like this one. I had a blast building this for you guys today, and I hope. I hope you were able to finish the build and you have as much fun with this ship as I have. It is a completely maxed out ship, so I'll go ahead and break it down for you. We'll test drive it and look on the inside. If you like what we do here in the channel, I hope you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more ship builds, tips, tricks, and guides like this for Starfield. This is your boy M of MCNCHD. For now, I'm going to go make my money back. I'm out of here.